You hear this all the time, bringing success on the practice tee to the golf course. How do I do it? Well, one of the reasons why you struggle is you don't, how to, you don't know how to deal with uneven lies. Your best begins here, presented by the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. And one of my favorite lies for people to practice on and to get good at is this downhill lie. Why? Because this is the hardest shot for you. You struggle so mightily with this. Now, Many of you that are hitting draws or hitting high shots, you launch the ball up into the air. This one, terribly difficult for you. You struggle like crazy because what happens to you is, is that when this club is coming in, it's coming too much from the inside and now the ground is higher back here than it is over here. So you hit the ground early and you might even top the ball. The club might bounce into that shot and jump the ball. What you have to be able to do is we have to be able to swing down this hill. Now, how are we gonna be able to do that? Well, one of the things that you have to do is you gotta widen your stance. You just gotta widen your stance. So if my normal six iron stance is like this, I'm gonna give myself another footprint. I'm gonna give myself, so that's the outer edge of my foot right there in a normal six iron. I'm going right there. So I've got a little wider stance. This is an important thing. And what you can also see is, is that when I widen my stance, I'm not widening my stance this way. I'm actually widening my stance by dropping my right foot back. What? D wait, isn't that gonna move ball position forward? Yes, and that's exactly what you need to do because if you don't, you're gonna hit an incredibly low shot. Let me show you what happens. And this is what you're told. I gotta get my shoulders to the slope, but I gotta move the ball back. So if I take the ball and I put the ball in the back of my stance right here, and then I set my shoulders to the slope, now all of a sudden, when I set my shoulders to the slope and I hit this from a back ball position, watch how low this thing launches. So now what I'm hitting is I'm hitting a shot that's coming out like a bullet Come on up to the front. It doesn't carry anywhere. I don't really get the ball speed that I'm looking for. My ball speed there is 111, normally about 115, 116 with my six iron. And my normal apex with this club is 90 feet. This thing had 51 feet. That's almost half the trajectory of what I normally get. Why? Because my launch angle is so low. That launch angle is 12.3. Now my normal launch angle with a six iron might be 17, 18 degrees. And that's how that gets up to 90 feet. But because I have set my shoulders to the slope, which moves ball position backwards, and then I take the ball and I move it backwards, now I got a real problem. So here's what I want you to do. Widen up, but widen up with the trail foot. So get your normal and then drop that back a foot. Let the body go that way, okay? So we make that. Set those shoulders to the slope. Now our ball position is gonna be in what I'm gonna call standard position. It's gonna be, for me, just a little forward of, of my spine. And now when I hit this, this trajectory now is gonna be a little bit different. The ball's gonna carry a little bit farther. I'm gonna have a little bit more ball speed and I'm certainly going to get a golf shot that's gonna carry farther than 157 yards. So we go here. That shot there, and I caught that a little bit thin, so it wasn't my cleanest strike. But let's come on up here and look at what happens to all these different things now. Remember, ball speed was at 111. That's at 115. That's my normal ball speed. So I got my normal ball speed out of that one. This one launched at 15. Yeah, okay, it's not 17 or 18, but this is also a downhill lie. It's about three degrees. So that makes a little bit of sense, even though that was slightly thin. And what did I get? I got a golf ball that landed at about 170. It rolled up and hit my 175 target and then bounced back. Now, it will be lower because of that, that uh, slope of that property. It's gonna launch the ball a little bit lower. But what I got was I got the ball first. I didn't hit the ground and then the ball. Now. That's gonna improve your swing. Now, how do we execute the shot? Well, one other little thing that you're gonna do is you're going to open up this club face. And when you open up this club face, now what we're gonna get is we're gonna get a trajectory that's back to our standard. So I should get a launch that's 17 or 18 degrees. I should get a carry that's about 175. I should get a ball speed that's about 115. I, these are all the things that I expect and with a 90 foot apex. That's what I'm expecting to get out of this. So I take the club, I'm gonna grip it just a little bit open. Again, ball position is forward in my stance 
but I'm setting my shoulders to the slope and I feel a lot of weight on my downhill foot right here. Here we go. So now I hit that shot and I it just a little bit off to the right hand side because of the open club face. But now I want you to look at what these numbers are all about. Remember my normal carry is about 175. This one went 177. That's pretty good. I mean, that's within two yards, I'm happy with that. I'm not a tour pro, but that's, I'm ha pretty happy with that. Normal ball speed, as I said, 115, 116. That one was 118. Launch goes up to 16.3, so it's almost at 17. Apex at 83 feet, that's almost at 90 feet. So I got everything that I wanted. Now, let's come on over here and see what happens with our club data. And this is really fascinating to see. That club is still coming into the ball from the inside. 5.5 degrees from the inside. And so what's happening is I'm still making a good golf swing. The club is still working the way I want. My low point now is at or in front of the golf ball and that's why it's gonna, uh, that's why I'm gonna hit the ball before I'm gonna hit the ground. And so as you start to, to deal with these uneven lies and this particular lie, downhill lie, a little bit better, now what's gonna happen is your strike is gonna improve. So. Come back in here, let's hit one more of these and I'm gonna remind you of this stuff again because I'm telling you, this is the bane of your existence. You have so much difficulty with this lie. So let me just go through this. We're widening the stance by taking that trail foot and dropping that back one footprint. I'm setting my shoulders parallel to the slope and I'm feeling that compression on my downhill leg, my, my, my lead leg. Open that club face a little bit and you might even aim just a little bit to right if you want to, okay? And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stay on that lead leg, make sure you're swinging that golf club down the line and through the ball, you get a good strike. See if we can hit one in the target here. Ah, I pulled it just a little bit on that one. But again, really strong numbers, 119 ball speed, launched that thing at about 15. A lot of good things taking place there. When you can understand how to be successful on downhill lies, it's gonna make you a better ball striker in every single challenging lie. I don't care whether it's the ball below your feet or the ball above your feet, it doesn't matter what it is. When you get to a point where you can, can execute this downhill lie, you are gonna play some great golf and, and you should know that your best begins here presented by the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.